So welcome back to Sim Garage. In a previous video, we um, introduced our new gauge control package and the two modules are associated with that when we launched. Um, one of the modules was the tachometer module to control your, your normal analog tachometer in this case. The other module was to control your quad gauges here, which were the fuel, oil, water, and volts. I'd like to today introduce the third module. Third module being a digital gear indicator. I've got it just kind of hanging off the side of the shift light off the tachometer here. I'm obviously a little more creative on your dash when you build it in. Um, I'm going to go through the software a little bit, but uh, again, the previous demo went through that quite a bit in depth. Once you hook up your uh, digital indicator here, which is very simple, with a little uh, 15 pin D sub cable and hook it to USB, uh, you'll go into the software and you'll click on it. You want to add the gear indicator module. In this particular case, it showed up as COM8. Assign it to COM8 here. Hit um, the green LED here. It'll go on showing you it's saved and back off. Um, you might notice that um, on this module there is no yellow light. The yellow light on the previous module showed that we had 12 volts hooked to it. This does not require 12 volts. It just strictly gets its power through the USB. You can activate the SimGarage. It'll take just a few seconds and you'll see the green light starting to flash a little bit while the modules get communicated with from the computer. Um, very similar to before, um, really nothing added on the software. If you do go in now and hit the test communication, you'll see that the green light now lights up on all three modules, showing that it is communicating. Also on the gear indicator, digital gear indicator, you'll notice the dot switches over to show that it's communicating. So when you head down to your dash, if the module happens to be remotely located, you won't be able to see the green light. With this, you'll be able to see that it is communicating by seeing the dot next to the end. Um, get this out of the way here a little bit. And I've got um, actually iRacing fired up. Uh, activate the screen, making a primary, the volume, and you'll see it again. Got the shift light set at about 6,000. Uh, we'll pop it in gear, and as you can see on the Die racing input switches to one, digital indicator switches to one, obviously the dash on the, this particular case, the Cadillac. Again, very fast reacting, accurate to what I racing is giving it. And reverse, back to neutral. So again, that's the third module in our line of about 10 that we'll be releasing. Um, I appreciate you joining us again, and please go to our website at simgarage.com if you'd like some more information on it.